Guys, I have got the brand new V2 Vitavon XRT and X-Max differential gears, and these things have some features built into them that no other gears that have come out on the market yet have. And if I'm not wrong, I think these features might make these the ultimate gears for your XRT and X-Max. In this video, I'm gonna show you what those features are. Then we're gonna get these in my 30 pound truck and beat the crap out of them and see how they hold up. Now, over the years, I've been through a few gears. These gears include the original Vitavon gears, stock Traxxas gears. I've also run the GPM gears, a couple other options from eBay. Most recently, I've got these PR racing gears. Out of all these gears, the PR racing gears have held up the best so far, but I did still break them under some really heavy abuse. Let's take a look and see how these new gears compare to all these old gears. So left to right, we've got the stock gears, the original Vitavon gears, the PR racing gears, and now these new Vitavon V2 gears. Taking a look at these V2 Vitavon gears, they have a mod 1.6 tooth pitch, which means that the teeth on these gears are actually gonna be larger than any of the other gears that have previously been available for the XRT and the X-Max. This means more tooth engagement and stronger gears. These gears have a 10 tooth pinion and a 32 tooth ring gear. Taking the standard 1135 gears, calculating that out, carry the three divided by nine, and it turns out that they're within about a percent of each other, so it doesn't really matter as far as the gear ratio is concerned. But like I said, this does give you bigger teeth on both the ring gear and on the pinion gear. Now the other big advance that this has is these are spiral bevel gears, which means you have more tooth engagement and a smoother tooth engagement. But unlike these PR racing gears where you had to thread lock the bearing on in order to keep the pinion from pulling in because of the spiral bevel nature and tearing up your diff housing, Vitavon has created a snap ring here that actually holds the bearing in place and prevents the pinion from getting pulled in. I think this is a much better solution. The only downside being you have to take your bulkhead apart in order to install this, of course, with the PR racing one, you had to take your bulkhead apart to remove it, so that's not that big of a deal. Especially if these things hold up and you only have to replace them once. Beyond the spiral bevel nature, like I said, we've got that mod 1.6 instead of mod 1.5, giving us a larger gear teeth, which is gonna give us more contact area between the teeth. These are really beautifully machined, very nicely made gears, and I've got really high hopes for them. Let me go ahead and get one of these installed on a differential, and I'll show you what it looks like, then we're gonna get it in the truck, we're gonna beat the crap out of these things, abuse them, and see how they hold up. I've got my Vitavon gear installed on this differential housing. You can actually see the damage right here on this differential housing where the PR racing gear jammed into it when the thread lock failed. I think that thread lock failed because this is very close to the center differential in the rear and that center differential gets very hot and I think it just melted the thread lock. Taking a look at the engagement on this, feels very, very smooth. There is a fair amount of play though between these two gears and unfortunately, there's not really any way to adjust that play out because of this snap ring. Whether or not that's gonna be a problem, we're gonna to have to find out together. Now make sure you get subscribed because I've got this new GPM Mod 1.5 Spur Gear that we're gonna be putting head to head with what I think is the current champion of Spur Gears, the MMM Mod 1.5 Spur Gear. This thing costs a lot less, appears to be pretty well made, and I'm really curious to see how it holds up. That's gonna be a video coming up really soon, so make sure you get subscribed, hit that bell so you don't miss it. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing put in my truck, throw some big SMC4S batteries in there. We're gonna take it out, bash it, crash it, and see how these things hold up.
Alright guys, well there you go. These gears have held up the best of any gears I've ever put on my truck. Now, you can see there are some marks here on the very tops of the teeth. I was able to get these gears to skip on pavement with my best SMC batteries going full throttle from a stop. All gears I've ever had will do that. I think my truck is just too big and too heavy for the size of gears that you can put in it. That being said, my truck weighs over 30 pounds fully loaded and those SMC batteries are beasts. So under normal circumstances, I wouldn't expect that to happen. And not only that, but if you look at these teeth, Yes, they did skip, but the teeth themselves weren't really damaged. There's no chip teeth, there's no missing parts. These gears are still just fine to keep running. And doing standing backflips on dirt, they held up just fine, no issues whatsoever. So do I recommend these gears? Well, maybe. If you've got a fairly stock truck or a truck that isn't crazy heavy with great big tires on it and you shim them properly, these stock gears actually hold up surprisingly well. But if you're going for bigger power and you want some gears that are gonna hold up to that power without shattering, I think these Vitavon gears are probably your best bet right now. The only downside to them that I have found is that you can't really shim them. So if in your particular circumstance, you have a loose mesh due to your tolerance stack up, that means that you might not get the same results that I have. That being said, I think these gears are definitely worth a try. Check them out and while you're at it, check this out.